Welcome to the No Tracers podcast. My name is Kay Anagonio, and I am an urban explorer based in California. And I wanted to make a podcast about urban exploration because I feel like this niche was lacking in the podcasting world. So I wanted to make a podcast. So this is No Tracers, and it's all about urban exploring. I'm going to be having guests on the podcast. Uh, so far, I've had a band in Southeast, a band in Nashville, and Ginger Snaps. I've recorded episodes with them, and so those will be coming out within the next couple of weeks. I'm super excited to share those with you. If you want to be on the podcast, you can actually hit me up at no.tracers on Instagram, and I will uh, set up a time with you, and we can have you come on this podcast. I would love to talk to you about your urban exploration stories and share them with my audience. It's been a lot of fun to record these episodes, so yeah, if you're interested, definitely hit me up at no.tracers on Instagram. So I am currently live on TikTok right now at No Tracers, and I am recording this podcast while live on TikTok. So if you're not following me on No Tracers at, on TikTok, please do that. You're missing out on a, a lot of cool content if you're not following me there. Um, I'm loving creating content on TikTok. It's a lot of fun. Um, but if you need gear for urban exploring, if you're trying to get into it and you need things like a backpack, a solar charger, camera gear, a drone, things like that, Definitely check out the Amazon links down in the description. I think that they will help you out when it comes to getting gear that I think is necessary for urban exploring. Lights, like I said, solar chargers, things that are super helpful for urban exploring. And uh, if you like this episode at any time, please leave a rating and feedback and I will send you a signed photo print from an abandoned place that I have explored all you got to do is take 30 seconds, give me give me five stars, give me some feedback, and uh, take a screenshot of it, send it to me at no.tracers on Instagram, and I will get you guys a signed photo print from an abandoned place I've explored. And the last little bit of housekeeping is that I have a book out called No Tracers, an Urban Explorer's Diary. And if you want to check it out, if you want to pick up a copy, go to notracers.com slash shop. You can pick up a copy there. I will sign it for you. I will personalize it for you. And I will get that out to you. Thank you guys for listening to No Tracers. Let's get into this episode. So today I got a topic suggestion from TikTok at No Tracers. And people were asking me, how do I find locations? How do I find these abandoned places? Well, I'll tell you what, it's actually really simple. So this episode's probably going to be short as well, like the other previous episodes. Uh, once I have guests on, these episodes will be a little bit longer. You guys will have more stories and more things to hear about. But for now, we're going to talk about finding locations. So like I said, it's really simple. There are a few ways to go about this. First of all, you can do the footwork. You can drive around walk around and find abandoned places. They are all over the place. I, I would suggest driving, honestly. Drive around to uh, some areas that are a little bit more run down, if you will, um, and you can find some abandoned places that way. There are also, like in LA, we have abandoned mansions everywhere, which is super interesting. Uh, those are a little bit harder to get into because a lot of them have like security systems, even though they're abandoned. Um, so yeah, because they're still owned by somebody technically. So a lot of these abandoned mansions in California are, are still guarded in a sense. I tried to get into a couple of them with uh, Urbex Off Limits recently and uh, they had a ring set up, like the ring system with the camera and all that stuff. So they had a ring set up. So there was no way we were gonna get into that property without the police being called, without getting caught uh, or without getting recorded. Um, so. Yeah, but one way you can go about finding abandoned places is driving around, honestly. The next thing you could do is you can go on Google Maps. You can spend a lot of time on Google Maps looking for places that look abandoned. Uh, they're usually pretty easy to spot. Again, you kind of need to know the area a little bit, and this goes back to the driving thing. You can drive around, look at stuff, mark it on your maps, and then look at it later when you get back home, and you can see if it is indeed abandoned or abandoned looking. Um, and then you can go about figuring out where it is and you can scout it out and go back and check it out. And then another way to find locations for urban exploring is online. You can Google search abandoned, whatever your area is for me, abandoned California, abandoned Orange County. 
You could look up Abandoned New York. There's so many blogs. There's so many photos. There's so much information. Even on Wikipedia, you can find abandoned places through Wikipedia. Uh, And oftentimes, if you do find them on Wikipedia, it will give you the freaking address. It will tell you the location on Wikipedia of the abandoned place you want to explore. It's amazing. So yeah, definitely check out Wikipedia, check out Google, just Google abandoned, whatever your area is, and you can find stuff uh, that way. Um, Another thing you could do is go on sites like Atlas Obscura. Atlas Obscura covers a lot of abandoned places all over the world. So if you're looking for places in your area, I think they uh, classify them by state. So you can actually look state by state to see what's abandoned uh, through Atlas Obscura. I'll put a link down in the description for you guys if you want to check it out. Um, And then the next place you could go is Instagram. Instagram. Use your hashtags. Hashtags are there for a reason. Hashtag abandoned California. Hashtag abandoned Europe. Hashtag abandoned kings. Hashtag abandoned after dark. Hashtag urbex people. There's so many hashtags that you could use to find abandoned places. So, uh, for example, if you want to explore California, look up hashtag abandoned California, and you will find people that have posted abandoned places in California. And then you could you could either DM them and see if they want to go exploring with you. Maybe they'll give you the location out. They probably won't give you the location out if you ask for it. But if you ask to go explore with them, they're more likely to say yes. And I think that's what's really important. Uh, If you offer to go exploring with them, take some photos of them while they're exploring, they're more apt to actually let you go with them. So offer your services as a photographer, as a videographer, in exchange for a location. That's a good way to get locations, honestly. But what I will say is please do not share the locations with all your friends. Don't put the location on your Instagram just don't do it because it's going to get vandalized. You're, the spot's going to get ruined. And so some people hate things like Atlas Obscura because they are giving so much information away. Um, but I love Atlas Obscura. I've used it a lot to find abandoned places. So, I mean, I back it 100%. I lo- I'm going to actually try to get Atlas Obscura on the podcast. I would love to talk to them, the people behind Atlas Obscura, that is. Um, so... Yeah, those are some quick ways to find locations. It's super simple. It's really not that easy, or it's really, it is that easy. It's really not that hard to find locations. Uh, you just have to do the research ahead of time. Um, it's it's not hard, guys. If you want a location, it's out there. It's available online somewhere, whether it's through Google Maps, on Google, or uh, through uh, Instagram. There's There's multiple ways to get locations, but yeah. That is uh, this episode of No Tracers. Super quick one, super simple. And I hope it helped you guys out. I hope that it helps you on your exploration missions. Uh, Definitely look into the Instagram hashtags, though. I think that's the best way to go. That's how I find all the explorers that I follow. So definitely check out Instagram for more information. If you guys like this episode, hit that subscribe button. Come back next Friday for another episode of No Tracers, the podcast. And like I said... If you guys are in uh, America, it's super easy to find places. If you live on the East Coast, there's tons of abandoned shit on the East Coast. So definitely go out and go explore some stuff. Happy exploring. And remember, leave no trace.